Hi everyone, it's Patty. I have a share for you today. Um, I'm going to share a couple things that I've done for my daughters for Easter. Um, these are an uh, altered egg carton and an altered honey jar um, that I've done for one of my daughters. They're in a shabby chic style and I've used various paper lines. Um, I guess I'll start with the honey jar. Um, this came from just honey that we eat here at the house and um, it was a cool little jar so I thought it looked a lot like the ones you can purchase at Michael's and so I saved it and cleaned it up and altered it for her. <clears throat> Some of the the uh, tags here come from a Kay and Company uh, ephemera pack that I purchased and um, this is a Prima Pebbles here. These flowers came from Michael's I believe in the um, bridal section and they're kind of like a porcelain and I painted them with some uh, watered down acrylic paints that I did and uh, the seam binding here I have uh, dyed myself and uh, used some of that same uh, wash that I used on the flowers the roses here This is just, um, I took some of the ephemera, and um, this is a paper line from, oh, uh, what is, this is a Prima paper line, I believe. I can't think of the name of it right now. I'll try to put it in the memo down below. But anyway, I laid this on my computer and made a scan of it. This is from the ephemera pack. It's a B, and I just layered the, this coupon that I had because um, I like the color of it so I made uh, a little uh, tag out of a paper line uh, this is the marketplace country mark uh, let me go see what it is just a minute Oops, that that didn't stick it's the London market sorry um, paper line and I laid that on my scanner and then I uh, printed that out on a piece of plain cardstock and I really liked the way it turned out. I made my own tag out of that. So, And then the back is also the uh, London Marketplace paper and I've uh, done a wash of uh, white gesso over the some of the tags on here. These are layered. I don't know if you can tell that that's a layered tag there and there. And I've um, distressed all of my edges and I made this little spray out of my roses and then on the top I put some real sweet little trim around this and some of the seam binding again and then punched a circular tag from that London Marketplace paper again and um, this was from the ephemera pack so that's my share on that honey jar and it, it uh, coordinates with the um, egg carton that I've embellished here, the altered uh, egg carton. Of course this is just a regular dozen eggs uh, that you get at the grocery and it's one of the cardboard and you just paint it with gesso, 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 however you wish to say. And um, On the top I've added some really pretty laces. I think I bought this on a roll at Walmart and then this also came from either Joann's or or uh, Michael's, one of those stores. I can't remember where I picked that up, but it's not that expensive. It might have been Hobby Lobby too. I don't I don't know. So anyway, on the end here where you cut it, um, I just continued my lace around the end, and then um, this came from a die cuts with a view stack. I just purchased the stack, and this is a neat stack. I love it. Um, I'll try to get the, the uh, name of that for you too. But anyway, that came from Michael's. And it's the, the new die cuts with a view stack. It's really cool. So if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. Um, but I'll either put that in the down bar or get the, the name of it. I'll, while you look at this, I'll go see what it is. Just a minute. That's the top of it. Get this over here just a little bit better. There we go. 
so now you can see the top of it while I find the name of that paper stack so I can share it with you. It's called Primrose and it looks like this and you might have seen this already on someone else's channel where they shared this paper stack but if you have not seen it at um, Michael's I highly recommend you go in there and check it out. I got it on, uh, used a coupon or it was on sale or something, but I've used it several times already and I love it. It's a really cool die cuts with a view stack. And there's a lot of tags in it too, so that's what I've used on this particular project. So um, this is also part of, this is from the paper stack and I've layered papers here and I cut this out and distress the edges. This is from the paper stack and I've cut it out, distressed the edges a bit, used a little bit of a lace piece right here, different type of lace than, than is around the uh, lid. And this is some uh, seam binding that I've um, dyed myself with some blue um, paint that I have. This came from the ephemera pack again and one of the Can Company ephemera packs and it's a little bluebird. Bluebird of Happiness, and these are from uh, the Michaels Dollar Fifty bin. I just tore the center out of one, you know, tore it apart, so it's just a smaller piece there, and then I've hit it with gesso again. So then, when you open this up, this is what it looks like on the inside. There again, this is from the paper line, and I've used some of the seam dye, uh, binding that I dyed myself. Um, these are just um, eggs that I've decorated and um, whoops, my well, clothespins are falling out. <clears throat> these are eggs that, um, and they're just those little plastic Easter eggs that you buy in a whole packet of them and I, bought, I found white ones at Hobby Lobby and they were on clearance or you know, cheap. So I purchased those and then I covered them with um, tissue paper and then I dyed them myself with uh, different paints that I have here at the house. Um, they're the Delta Ceramco acrylics. So these are the colors that match the paper line that I use. This is a Webster's Pages um, trim and then I just put some of the Michaels pearls that you get in the dollar bin here to um, decorate that and this came from the ephemera pack again so I really didn't do anything with this butterfly other than bend it and I did add some antennas out of some of the um, oh it's that new it's kind of a jute twine I just tied little knots in the end and made one continuous length about like this and then on the back I just glued the antennas on I still left the um, the sticky back on this because it's not going to stick anywhere. It's just going to be in down in there. And then I added one of my charms that I've made. Um, this is a bottle cap charm, and um, I cut out one of the tags from the paper line again. And just um, this is a. I think this is uh, my mind's eye paper. I'm not positive, and I don't know the name of it. Sorry off the top of my head. And then I've used some of that tiny lace again here on the back on the the um, bottle cap and I've added a bead dangle and a heart and a bee. So there again my daughter's last name is um, Stingley so I try to incorporate bees whenever I can. This is another one of the little um, eggs that I've uh, colored and added some lace again around the uh, the uh, center and some of the little Michaels dollar spot roses and painted them again with just some pink um, paint. These are a couple of altered clothespins that I've done up and uh, they're again same paper line and there's a little charm dangle on this one. It's a real pretty little bead that I had in my stash and some of the seam binding again and then the dollar spot rose and some little pearls up the front of the clothespin. So this is one for one daughter and uh, I have another share. 
that I made for my other daughter. Um, she likes more na natural looking um, things for her house, so I will share that and uh, in the next video. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments, I like to hear your your sweet comments, and uh, I enjoy reading everybody everybody's comments. And um, I thank you for watching my video, and I will talk to you soon. Stay tuned for the next set because they're just like this, only more natural. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.